I just had the worst dream. I had a dream where I died to the Ender Dragon while I was fighting it five times for some reason. I don't know what's going on. Why are there a bunch of signs in my room? We had people research what happened to you that night. They said you pay. I think it's supposed to say may. They said you may think it was a dream when you woke up, but it wasn't. Wait. What? They said you would wake up. There's more signs down here. Sometime next month, which is January. We did a bit of stuff while you were asleep. Huh? What are they talking about? And who is this person that... Who is this person? Who? Camo? What? What is going on? <laughs> What is up everyone? Welcome to another video. In this video, it is Sketch Survival episode 17. Yes, it is back. It is finally back. And I just couldn't wait anymore. I did a bit of stuff off camera like Camo said. Uh, that was just all role play that wasn't actually real. But as you can see, we have a new building. Okay, it isn't completely finished. I haven't put any of the windows in but as you can see it is a really big medieval building so if we can fly out a little bit you guys can see how big this actually is and i used a lot of the dark oak that we were supposedly supposed to get in the last episode but i decided to take it out of the last episode because it was a little bit too long and i didn't want it to be too long so yeah so we have this whole thing built and i actually purposely built it off camera because in this episode, I actually want to tell you a little bit about it. And also do some other stuff. So, yeah. So, but first, I want to tell you a little bit about what this building is for. I haven't done the path or anything. This is a really big building. You may have seen on my Instagram quite a while ago, to be honest. But this building is our sketch survival sketch survival artists building basically all you subscribers you guys are all my artists and we basically are gonna go in here and we're gonna every episode or most episodes we are gonna basically take a sign write down someone something so something someone said in a comment so if you comment down something inspiring kind something like that that i think is worthy of being up on our sketch survival building oh by the way i haven't done the interior at all but yeah so if i decide that it's worthy of being on the board we will come in here write down the comment and who sent the comment so you can be in our sketch survival building and if you do more than one and we decide to put you in more than one science we will assign a whole wall to you your to your comment so like one whole what th this whole thing would be yours if you have more than one you can do a lot more than one actually so basically if you give me any feedback kind words inspirational words and stuff like that in the comments of any of my sketch survival videos you guys can get in the survival artists building so that's what that was for i just wanted to have a new type of thing in the world that's more interactive with you guys as a viewer and as a subscriber because last month we hit 50 subscribers which that was amazing but yeah so yeah i've done a lot of work i also completely forgot about all that all that trigger cane over there when do we put that if you guys were wondering what we're doing in this episode we are actually gonna be going to the end and building a enderman farm and maybe we might probably not though go and raiding a little bit more at some point i do want to build an iron farm 
I am a bit lazy though, so I don't know when I'm gonna do that. If I ever get to that, of course. But yeah, make sure to comment down below something if you guys want to be added into our survive sketch sketchers artists building. I don't know what to call it. But yeah, also I don't know if I showed you guys this. I did the path to get over here. I don't know if I showed you guys that or not, because literally the last clip that you saw was recorded like a week ago, to be honest. But yeah, I think I still need to put the windows in, but we can do that another time. I want to build an Enderman farm, and also, I also want to build, do more on the castle, like up here. So yeah, I think that's what we're going to do in this episode. So yeah, let me get started on the castle let's do the castle before the enderman farm because i think that would be a lot more fun to do also if you hear the banging outside i don't know if you guys can hear that or not that is actually the laundry i'm in a new room uh if you probably know that but if you don't i that's why there's that noise outside it might be annoying for my videos but i'm gonna have to deal with it try not to record when it's going off but yeah Anyways, let me get to a little building time lapse of this castle. I'm not sure what part we are going to build. Or actually, we're not going to do time lapse. Let's build with you guys. So the first thing I actually want to do is put in a little bit of a, like, technically it's not called a roof. It's just, like, the top layer, basically a roof. Okay, let's put in the roof to the base, the top part of the base. And yeah, I'm going to probably speed this part up because I don't really need to show you guys what I'm doing. I want to kind of build this castle on camera as much as I can so I can kind of teach you guys how to build a castle. So like if you guys want to like recreate it or something like that, get inspiration from it, you guys can pretty easily because you see how I, what techniques I use. And also keep in mind this isn't going to be a wooden castle then, or it's not going to be a completely stone castle then because I want to add wooden details to it like wooden logs going around it and stuff like that because I think that it's a little bit boring just to have a stone castle because I've had many of these before in the past so yeah I have also have no idea how this might turn out I'm just playing it blind and yeah let's see how what that where that takes me but let's speed this part up so that I can get on to the next part of the castle and done that wasn't too bad to be honest I ran out of stone basically and I had to go get more I don't know how long the time lapse was because I don't want this video to be too long because we are doing a bit much now I want to do a little bit of terraforming. I want to add like a little barrier type thing to give it a little bit. I don't want like these two things to be the same. So I want to put like a little wall here. Like going around here like this. So I'll show you guys once I get the materials for that. Okay, so this is the little outline that I have. It's just going to be like a wall going up a little bit. Are, I'm just gonna for first off I'm gonna just fill it all in with stone like this to the bottom and then I'm gonna go up with it and this doesn't look too bad now I'm gonna terraform the hill a little bit and I'll be right back once I've done that as you might be able to tell I cannot stop looking at this building the sketchers artists building it just looks amazing but i have terraformed over here it is all terraformed and nice in here it is a bit dark at the moment which i will be working on and we did put in the top for that i don't know i think we're gonna leave it there for the castle today i'm basically every episode i want to do a little bit more on the castle not too much in the end though it's gonna be a slow process it might even take until episode 30 ish to finish i want to finish it hopefully before episode 25 because i'm hoping to do some kind of world tour and world download at episode 25 if i can i'm not too sure about that though if not that's completely fine i'm probably at least gonna do a tour if not if not if not a download but yeah i think it's looking 
okay so far i don't know how much i like this at the moment i think it could be better it's gonna be better at least and i do want to put in some pads and stuff and make this whole place look better like this whole place is looking a little bit a little bit missing of something and i think that's detail lack of detail i gotta finish stuff off while i still remember so i'm gonna put in a little path going here make it pretty put in custom trees and all that so let me just time lapse that hopefully you guys enjoy the time lapse or maybe there won't be a time lapse i'm not sure but yeah let me time lapse that and i'll be back to you with the final product does it look any different to you guys oh my goodness i spent about an hour or two doing all this i had to get some bone meal from like the wheat over there i had to bone meal i had to put it in a composter to get enough bone milk to do all these flowers and stuff around here i built a whole custom tree almost destroyed my shears but i had other leaves so yeah i didn't need too many leaves and i think i think we've done enough on our base for now we added this custom tree here we also if we fly over here did a little bit we bone milled a little bit here and we added another custom tree over here which i think is really nice and we basically just added to it the whole area a bunch which i am loving a lot it just makes it look so nice how much are your mending books 14 emeralds ain't that bad but yeah now i want to go to the end and build an enderman farm and i think we can go do that now i am gonna get some materials and i'll meet you guys in the end the first step to build this enderman farm is to build out like 150 blocks with leaves from the edge of a island i'm gonna build out in with all these three so that i can run back and forth without falling out like this as you can see but yeah i'm gonna build out all the way and then i'll get back to you guys once i've done that now that we've made it to the end of the leaf path we are gonna build uh, a few more blocks and then this is where we have our kill chamber now you're gonna want to put some lower slabs lower half slabs above the hoppers we might need more solid blocks too oh <laughs> it keeps falling uh we only need this to be three blocks high that will make it so that it should be two and a half yes yes and then they won't be able to get out and then we're actually gonna have to build all these blocks up i don't know how much let me check but we're gonna have to build these all up so be prepared for that if you are building this in your own world so that is actually how high we need it to be so it's pretty tall but we're just gonna have to build it up all the way around hopefully we have enough blocks if not i can either go back or camo can go back it's honestly not that far We've already got back to get more leaves like three times, so yeah, that's 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 a journey to get back. You need more cobble? Okay, I'll get you some. Now we're gonna build out eight total blocks in all directions. So this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and do that for all directions. So here, here. And here and there too so yeah and then you'll see the next step in a second once we have built out all these you're gonna want to make a square with them I'll show you in a sec so basically like that but on every single side and then fill in all those except not the middle portion where they're gonna drop down so fill in all this with cobblestone once you fill in the platform, you're going to want to put in trap doors here and also put a slab on the bottom half slab of the second block and make a little like wall barrier thing so that people cannot. Oh no, why are you doing this camo? 
Camo, I'm trying to build the wall, but you're gonna basically build that all the way around the whole thing and I'll show you guys when I'm done. Also, before I forget, make sure you do put hoppers and chests down there. I almost forgot. Now that we have the barrier, they should start spawning. Technically, this is all you need to do. You can also put more layers or whatever. I don't know how to do that though. So I'm not gonna be doing that. I also have to go get some ender pearls really fast to show you the next part. Uh, yeah, I gotta go get some ender pearls and I can show you the next part. This next step is to build up three blocks and build up, go forward a few blocks and then uh, you're gonna wanna build in a circle, circular formation like this. Cause in the end you are gonna want an endermite. Uh, you're gonna want an endermite in here. So now you're gonna wanna place a rail right here and I sadly do not have a hopper set. I, I don't have a minecart so we have to go get one but basically you're gonna wanna get a endermite in here by throwing a ender pearl over here and see I got one but I gotta go get a name tag and a minecart really fast so let me go do that now I'm gonna name him if I can his name is subscribe oh no now you're gonna push him over to that middle block oh god don't kill me don't kill me don't kill me okay now you're gonna wanna place a slab if I can get one a slab on top of there break everything else around him like so, just not the block that he's on top of. And the farm should be basically done. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, see, the Enderman should go into try to get him, but they can't, which is super nice. And then you can also put like other, other lines of blocks, which I'm going to do right now. Basically, you're going to want to build up three blocks like this, and then build a circular outline up here or wait is it two blocks or three blocks up pretty sure it's three blocks the last part of this is to now take some leaves build up two blocks or yeah build up two blocks break one and now you're gonna go around this little circular formation that you just did with leaves on top of this so that so that you can get more endermen to spawn and then they'll basically the leaves will push them off one side or the other and then they'll go into the center after that because of the endermite it'll lure them over there and then they'll see these trap doors as solid blocks they'll fall down and then they'll land in our killing area where we're gonna we're gonna kill them and then get their xp and their drops so that is very very helpful this will just basically make it a little bit more efficient with just that little bit of work that you just put into it. And there we go. That Now it's all done. We gotta get out of here. Come down here and they should start to come down any second. You can also extend your, oh no, your leaf platform a little bit. And as you can see, they are starting to come down right there. So that means that it is working. They're all really mad though because of the up there and you would actually be getting loads of xp right now except i am already i'm already at level 50 which makes it so you get xp very very slowly but you will get loads of xp from this farm so if you want to build this in your world you can definitely do so it's very simple if you want me to put it out a more detailed tutorial on it I can in the future and they all should be one hit kill by the way and it gives you loads of xp so that is the enderman farm all done but yeah hopefully you guys enjoyed this video if you guys did make sure to drop a like and consider subscribing if you haven't already thank you guys for watching goodbye say goodbye why do you have the same face as me that's also weird bye 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 Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye, everyone.